Hello everyone, how's it going? So today what I got for you is basically just a bunch of airdrop news for today and some things that you actually do have to take action on, but let's just get started. So right here we can see that Scallop has tweeted with a little airdrop kind of symbol thingy with uh, Pyth and Scallop and it also says here that someone replied um, if the snapshot was taken and they said X with the with the time emoji so i'm assuming that basically means that they have taken the snapshot already i do not personally know what the minimum would be but i'm a i'm going to assume at least around 500 at least mainly because around 500 pyth would roughly be around 250 300 us so that would probably get most of the uh sybils out of there um but i believe they are yeah, they're a money market on C network, so decent. And I do know that they do have like 150 um, million in TVL, so that's pretty bullish if you ask me, that they got more TVL than followers. I, I like that. I personally do like that. So we'll see if I'll keep you guys updated on this if uh, or when they do end up airdropping any of their criterion or anything. But we'll move on to the next thing. And that is the StarkNet Foundation. Now, you guys know how much I hate StarkNet personally because I did qualify for it. But, well, I should have qualified for it because all my stats were like perfect. Didn't qualify. But what I do kind of like, which is, I, I believe this is really, it's not fake, but it's, it's like two-faced in my opinion. But they're distributing 40 million Stark tokens to participating DeFi protocols in the upcoming uh, program. So basically that means stuff like Nostra, Yukabo, maybe a couple other of these um, dApps will get it. Personally, that's just not enough incentive for me because of how StarkNet kind of did. I mean, the, the chain's kind of like dead too. There's only like 8,000 active wallets on there. But that also does mean that there's less competition. So if the Stark price does hold, which I do believe it'll hold at least for a month or two because VC unlocks in two months after the TGE event. So, I mean, it's up to you guys if you want to do this. I'm personally going to stay away from it, mainly because I got my funds trapped up elsewhere. But we'll just move on to the next thing, and that's... Also, another uh, interesting project, to say the least, uh, the the big farmers out here, a.k. Orbiter Finance. And what I also don't like with this, th this is why I believe it's kind of two-faced. So StarkNet's doing this thing where di they're distributing the 40 million Stark to participating DeFi protocols. And now they got people like, or protocols, sorry, like Orbiter Finance that are distributing more points if you bridge to StarkNet yeah it's kind of a little fishy there i believe they're just trying to have a big markup on marketing so they pump their price up for their vcs so they could exit liquidity and dump on all the public that's personally in my opinion will i be doing any of these tasks you know i will be doing the scroll ones and the reason i will be doing the scroll ones is because i really haven't done scroll too much yet so that does bring up a bit of volume of Brita TXs and also a bit more points on Orbiter. I've currently spent like $800 in fees just on this wallet alone for Orbiter. So, I mean, I think I'm already too far gone. If Orbiter doesn't pay me, you guys might not see me. Um, my active might, my wallet might not be active after that. But um, yeah, will I do the StarkNet stuff? maybe not not sure not sure i don't know how i feel about starknet right now but if the bridging fees are low then sure but i'm probably just going to stick with the starknet for now and get my free 74 points might do the starknet or sorry scroll i'm gonna do might do the starknet in the future if i just want to if i'm bored just want to collect some more points if i get airdropped something for some funds but We'll move on to the next thing over here, and that is the ZK Sync, uh, the Hyper Comic, all the NFTs. They just dropped their part four, and I believe the off the record stuff was, yeah, 20th. Yeah, so this just dropped. So all you gotta do here is, it, as long as you're eligible for this stuff, all you do is you press claim, 
and then well there you go that's my pocket universe working and gas isn't bad at all all this gets or most of this gets refunded i always recommend doing low well yeah that's lowest gas so we'll just confirm that grab your nfts this generates a unique contract address on zk sync all as well so i personally recommend doing it uh not financial advice obviously another thing is personally i don't 100 percent know if zk sync already has done their snapshot they may have i do remember they had a tweet i believe on like february 1st yeah so they did just ha they did have a tweet on february 1st sorry and they reposted a lot of these and from big places saying zk is the end game and all these like quote retweeted so does that mean the snapshot happened then personally i think probably but does it really hurt to spend an extra like dollar on fees to claim these nfts just in hopes probably not up to you snapshot could have been taken snapshot maybe not who knows but moving on to the next thing and that is we have the linea park um layer three quests that are coming out i believe tomorrow and i personally faded linea which was most likely a horrible idea but the only reason I did that is because back then I was low key low on funds and the gas fees were like damn near five, almost $10 for like a single transaction. And like, personally, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but they recently did just update, um, a bunch of their code on Linea to move gas prices near, like, I believe arbitrum and optimism level so hopefully it's much cheaper than it was before i have done some bridging to linea and i can confirm that the bridging definitely is lower priced still get hit with like a, a dollar gas fee but that's way better than like the nine ten dollars it was it's almost like ethereum mainnet and um if for linea you do get the lxp so is that a potential like um airdrop like criterion that you will need lxp i'm not sure i'm personally going to be doing it on at least one wallet maybe one or two wallets see how much it is see if it's cost effective whatnot but i believe this does release tomorrow and not actually today so if you're watching this on like early in the 20th it's probably not out but later on it should be no problem uh, last thing we got here today, just real quick, is if you are staking with either Osmos, Injective, Cosmo, or whatnot, just make sure you are voting for your proposals, mainly because stuff like Optimism and a couple other protocols have ended up airdropping to governance um, participants, and it's super easy. All you do, as long as you're staking, you just go here, confirm your vote, vote sorry and the fees are always like a cent so it's like you can't really complain about that all you got to do is like click a button like five six times and you're good and there you go and you're voted but that's all i really got today if any of y'all have questions in the comments below i will respond to every single comment that comes in i try my best to and i appreciate all the support recently thank you so much we just passed like a hundred subscribers and we're like at like 140 something right now so i do really appreciate that it means a ton that you guys are getting some value out of my videos and at the end of the day that's all i want to that's all i really want to do for for all of y'all is just just to give value fuck diluting the bags like who cares like i mean like why not bring out this info to other people as long as it as at least if even if one person like get some money out of this or not even money or just whatever like get some value out of my videos then in my eyes we're, we're all winning at that point so i appreciate you guys and have a good one thank you